you know about Drew and her girlfriend? Um, I know that Drew visits her. Where is she visiting her? Texas. I have pictures of them on my phone, but I wasn't gonna say that on camera. Gal shouldn't leave me in there with vodka that long. <laughs> everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this is sammy sam p let's talk about the latest episode of the real Swap of atlanta let's get right into it this is the last episode y'all we finally made it and i must say it was pretty long and they gave us a lot of footage that we didn't need but anyway Izzy and todd are done filming so they want to do a wrap party you know to celebrate the celebration of being able to film everything in a week and a half or two weeks something like that then we see Sanya coming to the doctor to hear a baby's heartbeat and she is with Marlo and she's excited to have Marlo there because her husband Ross could not make it this time. They're checking everything and it seems that she's measuring at five weeks and a half even though she should be seven weeks. Dr. Jackie is telling her rain on your parade i would really not Great. keep involving him until we see heartbeat and get it's to 12 too late weeks. well just don't talk about it no more tell the little boy that you know he needs to be patient like do something for him not to like be so focused on a baby every day because if something happens now you're going to be disappointed and even Marlo told her you told those ladies way too early and it's true she did she's not listening because she's just so happy so excited about it but mm, yeah next we have Sherry and her daughter they're talking about the party the day before and she asked her about if she knew about Bob's new child and everything and she's like yeah i've seen her before and everything but i didn't know you didn't know and a part of me was like poor girl like what was she what was she supposed to tell her mom oh yeah i knew about her and i knew you didn't know yeah that would have been too complicated i think her children made the right decision by not letting her know what they think was happening they probably knew their mom didn't know but at the end of the day it wasn't their responsibility and even sherry said that but yeah, I felt really bad for Sheree, but I give it to her. Like, she's a very strong woman. Like, she's very good at, like, not really showing her emotion. That Sheree lady, I got respect for her when it comes to that. Like, whenever there's, like, a lot of tension or, like, difficult situation, she's not going to let you see her sweat. And I give that to her. Then we have Marlo, who actually has been working, you know, a stylish thing. The archive has been really working, apparently, so I'm happy for her. And Scott Lee come and visit her and I was like, oh, I think I see a spark. And when she's asked about if she's with him, if he's her boyfriend, she's saying no, but I don't know. I see something between those two, you know, like I want to see more of Scott Lee, you know. At first I was like, oh, it's probably fake and stuff, but now I'm like, hmm, I see a spark there. Do y'all see a spark? let me know we also had drew and ralph drew is tired because filming was a lot and ralph come and talk to her we learned that apparently they have not been sleeping in the same bed because ralph could not really sleep comfortably because drew would come home late and a part of me is like is it that when she comes home she makes a lot of noise and that's why you want to have your own room because she's quiet she could come in bed really quickly but she might be making a lot of noise and that's what is, you know, waking him up and stuff. So that's why he's saying that he's sleeping in the other room. Is when she asked him, when are you planning on being back to sleep? And he's like, so when are you moving back in the room? I don't know. Mm -mm. So then she proceeds to show him the video of Courtney allegedly calling her a B. Honestly, that video shows that Courtney was calling Sanya a B and not you. So I don't know why you don't see that. At the end of the day, yes, Courtney, she probably feels that Courtney doesn't like her and that things are being said about her, but it's like you won't have a problem with Courtney. And I'm like, mm -mm, don't do that, right? So she's showing it to her husband and her husband is like, if somebody insults your wife, you want to make sure that you are on her side. Yeah, probably a lot of people, you know, called the name before, but at the end of the day, they were able to like, make up together right like you as the husband you're not gonna show you know oh yeah i'm against her like what would you do like that's crazy i don't like ralph i'm just gonna be honest with y'all i don't like his behavior he doesn't have the behavior of a supporting husband yes you know that your wife can be dramatic and she is being dramatic here because she's pushing the issue 
with Courtney when Courtney really wasn't talking about her, but at the same time, you could have just tell her, listen, I know what's going on, but I'm going to stay behind you and just be quiet. But I feel like Ralph, he takes pleasure of seeing his wife not happy. And when somebody is against his wife, he'd rather take the side of the other person. That is a problem. So she gets upset and she goes downstairs and her sister is there with other people and they ask her what's going on, what's going on. And she proceeds to talk. Now that's when I am against Drew because I felt that Drew could have just stay quiet, you know, not tell other people. So now other people are going to be mad at your husband when that's something that y'all could have, you know, endo together. Now Drew's sister is mad at Ralph because she knows that Drew is upset and she knows why Drew is upset. So it's just messy. Um, I do feel that Drew is not helping the situation because it's almost like she wants people on her side. Yes, she feels embarrassed and she's in her feeling, but when it comes to that marriage thing, sometimes you have to pick and choose when you're going to be in your feeling. And I feel that Drew opening up to other people so quick was not a good look. Still, she's telling him how embarrassed she is. He knows he didn't do the right thing, but I feel like Drew didn't make it better by telling her sister right away. Let me know what you think. And the Candy's party comes in and Drew is the star, you know? Candy has only good things to say about Drew acting and Drew singing. Only compliment the Shasha for her. Drew is going to perform and this time she's going to perform an entire song. She's coming with her husband. Her husband and her seems to be in better mood she's happy she's elated we see her say hi to ty ty who we learn you know they may have been going some to, something going on between the two of them but we'll talk about that later so yeah she performs all the ladies are there when she sees courtney she says hi to courtney as if nothing so of course courtney is probably thinking well if drew said hi to me let me say hi to her sister let me say hi to allison hi oh okay huh? i'm like why why drew sister drew said hi so now what do you receive? i don't know why people are doing this like if the person that she insulted said hi to her and you you now you want to bring in problem i was annoyed i ain't gonna lie and i think kenzie was annoyed too so drew and courtney they have the discussion and i just thought it was dumb um i thought it was dumb drew ended up saying that she did you know, call her a B-word, but she didn't even really call her the B-word because she was calling Sanya the B-word. So the whole thing is just annoying. It's just 100% annoying. I ain't gonna lie. Drew performs. We don't see the entire performance, but she's looking good. The voice is sounding really good. The mic was on and the dancing was great. So yeah, congratulations to Drew that has been working hard and he's doing, he's doing great. So yeah, that's great. We also see Mama Joyce who came to support Todd and Kenzie and she's telling Kenzie that all she wants for her is that she's happy and everything. Mama Joyce is looking quite calm. So yeah, that was good because we don't want to see Mama Joyce mean and you know with the snide remark and all that. Apparently she's been going to counseling with Kenzie and things are better and I'm happy for them. You know? So then after that, they're starting to tell what's happening for the ladies and everything. We talk about Kenzie. Sheree, all that, all that. And then Sanya lost the baby. We see her with her mom talking and she's telling her how it was, how the little boy took it, her son and everything. And it's like, yeah, I mean, it's very sad, you know, what happened to Sanya, losing a baby, you know, now having to tell a young son that really wanted his little sister. I mean, it's a sad situation. We now know that she's pregnant, so she probably was able to get pregnant not long after. So congratulations to Sanya this time around. She's like pretty advanced, so I'm very happy for her. But yeah, like miscarriage is always hard. You know, they were done with filming, but they had to be back filming because Drew, you know, filed for divorce from Ralph. Initially, we heard that Ralph filed for divorce from Drew, but Drew apparently filed an hour before. I'm pretty sure they probably had a fight about something and it was whoever went first to the divorce, you know? And Drew is saying this about it. Things were just not getting better. I lost my voice in the marriage and I allowed things that no woman should ever allow. I mean, I allowed 
him having inappropriate relationships with women. I feel that Ralph, if you didn't want to really, if you really don't really want to get a divorce, don't bring up the D word. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I probably, I think that's probably a fight that went too far, but I think that maybe Drew really wants to move on. So we see Drew coming to film and she's definitely looking distraught. Sheree was already there. So when they see each other, they talk and, you know, people are actually being very supportive to Drew. Kenya is being supportive to her. Even Sheree comes and tell her, you know, I don't wish none of that. I know we haven't been good, but I don't wish you that. We learned that Sheree's dad died a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago. And I was so sad for Sheree. Once again, we wouldn't even have known if he didn't say it. And it's when she started saying it that we could see her starting crying. Sheree is a strong lady, man. She's really, really strong. I, I give that to her. Drew comes in and she cries even before. It's hard. It's hard. She don't want to talk about it and everything. They also had a confessional for Ralph because you know Ralph loved that shit. He also wants to have a picture. I've been telling you all that. They ask him what happened. He says what happened. Well, they both talked to the lawyer who both said that they shouldn't, you know, say anything about what happened. And <sighs> listen, I... All I can say is that whenever the news of Drew potentially cheating on Ralph with Ty came out, Drew behavior changed here. It's everywhere. I'm freaking. Tom, do you see the stories like literally going viral? Yep. 2151. Yep. It is such a low reach. You see how at first she was crying, she was doing that. I can't do this. It's too, it's too. No. And then she's like, ah, I don't think that's it. Like, I feel like even though she's a good actress, we can peep when she's lying. And the story's like literally going viral. Oh, yeah. Yep. 2151. Yep. <laughs> it is such a low rate. I think she was lying here. I think something happened with the girl. And then that's when we see Monieta come in and say that Drew told her that she had a crush on Ty. And that's also when Courtney came in and Courtney had word vomit here. I have pictures of them on my phone, but I wasn't gonna say that on camera. Gal should have leave me in there with vodka that long. Now we see why she was pushing so hard for that adoption. Courtney girl, you're evil. Like, I feel like Courtney is the type of person that takes things too far and she's willing to do to go very far because she really wants to get a peach and I pray to God she never gets one. I'm highly annoyed with that girl, Courtney. Like you don't do things to people whenever they're down. And she's talking about Ralph told me and he's okay with you. And no way Ralph is okay with it. Especially when we saw the reunion clips and Ralph wants to make it with his wife. And no man that doesn't really want to get a divorce and be good with his wife is going to be okay with you going and talk about her that way. I, I am feeling it for Courtney at all. At all, at all. This note that was the end of the real last part of Atlanta. For those of you that are new here, hey, welcome, and I invite you to, you know, and for those of you that have been here with me, supporting me, thank you all so much, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.